All right, it's Mayor Gray. What, what's going on over here? Listen, I just had I just had my my eyes dilate my eyes dilated. I I had to go to the eye doctor, and now my eyes are all they're all wide and jacked up. What 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 what's the commotion about? Gray, there's a nuke incoming. What do we do? Also, Water Zero now comes with even more oxygen flavor. <sighs> a nuke. That's like that's like a Sunday drive for us. Okay, just just get um. Get, get that one Bob to operate the anti nuke nuke launcher, the the la the launch the launcher that launches the the an the anti nukes, the nukes that that attack nukes. It's a nuke launcher that shoots nukes, that uh, that blows up nukes before they before they just get Bob to do it. Construction Bob. No 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 not construction Bob. Orphanage Bob. What? No, not Orphanage Bob. Why would Orphanage Bob know how to operate an anti-nuke nuke launcher? Fire Marshal Bob. No, stop, not fire. Okay, listen, you guys got to get different names. Okay, because this is getting, this is getting really out of hand. Anyway, the, the Bob, the Farmer Bob, the one that operated the shoot gun last time. He's basically the only one of you guys with any experience. Just throw him inside of the anti-nuke nuke launcher. It's got like one button on it. He'll be fine. So, uh, Mayor Gray, I just, I just pressed the button right. Yeah, buddy, it, it's one button. This is what you're good at, okay? It's a lot like the last one. Only instead of shooting forward, it shoots upward. You're, you're gonna be fine. Just press the button. All right, I'm pressing the button. All right, yeah, uh, also no pressure or anything, but if you screw this up, we're all gonna die. So, yeah. All right, yeah, you missed. You missed, Bob. Way to go, buddy. Way to go. Wow, that actually, that actually wasn't that bad. I mean, what did we lose, like one building? And uh, three bobs? I consider that a win. Hey Grayso, there's another nuke incoming. Actually, it's a lot of nukes. Well, um, everyone take the rest of the day off, cause uh, you got about 11 seconds to live. Um, I'm fine. Is everyone fine? You guys fine? Yeah. So the gym's still here. Steakhouse still here. We're fine. Everyone's fine. Is Ray, it what? There's another set of nukes incoming. Only now it's the size of half the city. Okay, now this is starting to get out of freaking hand. Okay, I don't know what that is, but yeah, I don't think we're gonna make it this time, guys. Well, it's just me and you now. I think we need to develop some better technology. Hello, Brick Rigs to Blaze, we're back with more Brick Rigs. So, um, you know, I look on the workshop at all the new recent stuff, and I notice a, I notice a theme. There's a lot of nukes and stuff on the workshop, but someone made an anti-nuke launcher. I haven't managed to hit a nuke with it yet, but that's its purpose. There's three potential rockets over here for us to fire. Let's test it against a nuke one more time. Maybe we can get a little bit luckier than our initial attempt to save Bricksville. 
All right, I've got the like slowest of all nukes falling here. I've got the rocket just barely going off. I think we're gonna have a miss. I think I think it's gonna kind of like be off to the front of the nuke. And it's just, wow, the nuke actually falls a lot faster than I previously anticipated. All right, so that's not good. That's, that's one failure. Oh, all right. Secondary explosion took down. <laughs> Secondary explosion took down one of the buildings. Nothing new to see here. All right, this is looking slightly better. Not, not really though. You can drive the, the rocket. It's just not easy. So, uh, <laughs> attempt number two met failure. All right, I'm driving this thing this time. Here we go. You can drive it. It's like I said, it's it's possible. It's just not easy. You kind of it it's very sensitive. The controls are highly sensitive. I think that we're on target though. There's not really like a bullseye or anything like that. There's just like this little groove that we have here. I think we might actually hit it this time. I can't believe it. Yes. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it for the love of God. Just do no, you got to be kidding me. All right, that's it. There has to be an easier way to do this. This is ridiculous. Oh, this is interesting. I've done a full 180 with the rocket. Now I'm actually chasing the nuke into the ground. So the nuke's going to explode. The nuke's probably going to take out a building or something. But maybe maybe we could just barely hit a piece of the nuke shrapnel. Nope, never mind. Totally missed the nuke shrapnel. We're going to end up exploding part of the city too. That's what happens when the heat-seeking nuke exploder ends up uh like doing a full three well, well 180 and coming back down to the area where it was launched from i think the thing with nukes is we need a better way to target them so here's a classic flat cannon let's see how well this does all right now you have to take into consideration the drop of the nuke all right nukes coming into position maybe like here oh wow the shots actually go a lot faster than i th oh god we're getting the bounce from the slow-mo since this cannon has recoil Watch this. I'm going to fire while I'm in the air. Oh my god, I hit the tail. The cannon was bouncing and we hit the tail. I mean, it's still going to... Oh, we disarmed the bomb. It worked. The flat cannon completely worked. Like, all the explosives must be in the tail. Never mind. All the explosives were not in the tail. All right, we'll do it in full speed. Come on, baby. Here we go. Nice! We shot it out of the sky. It legit worked and it didn't blow up any of the buildings that was probably the first time that i've i've made an actual decent shot now can this flat cannon take out that gigantic nuke that destroyed the entire city basically all right we've got one shot we've got to make it count otherwise the city is screwed okay here we go here we go fire oh i missed oh i missed <laughs> okay only half the city was screwed. It's fine. The only problem is that the little, those little wires are so thin, they're kind of hard to hit. All right, here's the rest of Bricksville. Look, it's like an accordion. An accordion of sadness. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, I missed again. No, 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 no. Okay, and this is what it's like. This is what it's like when it hits. It is a legitimate carpet of absolute obliteration. Nothing survives. Well, potentially nothing survives. Now, supposedly, there's an object that can survive even a nuke. We may have to test that. Now, supposedly, this hideous being can transport 64 bobs, has firepower in it, and can take a nuke right to the face. Let's see if this thing is strong enough to withstand entire city destruction. All right, I've got some, uh, I've got some titans over here for scale. We'll see how well they do. In the middle of it, the, the brick, and coming down from the top, oh, let me aim that back up. There we go. And coming down from the top, this hideous beast thing. There it is, fluttering down, fluttering down, and the whole pack of nukes hits. Oh. It didn't really do that much damage because it hit like sideways. Come on, Brick. I want to get your testing in. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, mother of God. Okay, everything is blowing up. Everything around it is completely destroyed. The Brick still appears to be in one piece. But, you know, I, I can't say really... Titans are leaning against buildings on fire. I can't really say that a, a nuke hit this thing directly. 
Now it's going to hit pretty directly. Oh, oh, the frame rate. Oh, my computer is sad. Wow, the bricks survived. The cannons are shot, but the exterior is totally fine. Just dropping another one down. You know, because why not? I think what happens is the chain reaction of explosions blows... Look at all the bricks in the air. The chain reaction of explosions blows up that giant thing before it can hit the brick. So there is a way to get past that. Okay, there's nothing to get in the way this time. Here we go. Oh, wow. There's the hit. The brick is in the air. Now remember, this thing is not in invincibility mode. You can actually see as the underside starts to fly. Let's see how the brick does. The brick is twisting. It's like a horseshoe crab. Boom! Sticks the landing. Nope. All right. Well, it kind of stuck the landing. But you know what? The outer shell is in one piece. The brick survived. So this is the one of the most ridiculous things I've ever seen. It doesn't look like much. It fires 20,480 explosive shots per minute as well as 10,240 ballistic shots per minute. This is per turret. By the way, there's four of them. I shot this one time and it broke my game. So, yeah. Let me let me give an example. So this is what it does when you start firing it. <laughs> it kind of has a mind of its own. It just kind of starts doing whatever it wants, as you can see. It may be a little difficult to utilize as a defensive measure. I think we just took down a building. Yep. Just took down a random building. Um, but the firepower is definitely there. I think I just need to find a way to maybe make this thing <laughs> a little bit more stable. Now, I will say the whole purpose here was to take down the nuke in the air. For it, I think we need something with a little bit more spread on the firepower. I think that the shoot truck is gonna be what it takes. Let's give it a shot. I don't know how it'll do against that giant carpet thing though. Giant carpet thing is coming. I actually don't really know exact, there it is. All right, the shoot truck is ready. Let's go ahead and slow things down. Oh God. All right, start firing. I think this should do it. Oh no. It's starting to, to bend and manipulate in time and space. I think we're gonna miss. Wait, we hit one end. Oh, it's an awesome chain reaction when one end gets hit. Oh, it's so cool. Now, we lost a building. We lost two buildings. But, we took the... And the shoot truck is sideways. But we did take that nuke down. Now, there is one other gigantic... That other nuke thing, whatever you want to call it. It's basically just a giant cluster bomb. We can see if we can get that. All right, for this, all you do is start shooting and pray you hit something. So here we go. You can see all the all the bombs coming down. It takes a long time for them all to fall. There's so many. We're actually hitting a few in midair. You can see where some of them are getting lit up as they're coming into contact with just this gigantic hailstorm of firepower. Every once in a while, we catch one. Look at it. It's like uh, it's almost like fireworks. All right, full speed. No, oh, we got one. We got two. We got three. We got four. We got five. Yeah, it's like bombs bursting in air. It's really cool. We got another one back there. And I think we're pretty much done. Okay. So, uh, hold on. You can stop now. You can stop now. So now let's take a look at how much we managed to protect the, the city. Um, you know what? Three-fourths of the city is still here. I would say that we were able to protect it. That's going to be it for this episode of Brick Rigs, where we tried to protect the city against various nukes. And it kind of worked. What do we need to protect the city against next? Feel free to let me know in the comments section below. If you want to make the YouTube machine happy, go ahead and fire the shoot gun at the like button. Until next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.